Hello everyone. If you're watching this, please click subscribe and also click that little bell. I know it's been a while. Um, I've been finishing up two albums and then I've done um, three singles uh, per each album. So the music is what pays for my fishing and my motocross racing. And so I have to uh, do the music to pay for anything else. So um, here you have a group of my poles. And what that means is tomorrow morning, I'm going to get to get out and actually do some fishing. Um, Want to give a rundown here of these poles and then uh, figure what I'm going to take out with me tomorrow. So uh, the pole that's cut off there, I'm going to get the uh, whole picture here, is my 10 foot Akuma fin chaser. And I barely use that uh, rod. I have a cousin from Long Beach who likes to use it when he comes out here. And uh, so I usually save that for him, but I might take that out tomorrow and see if we can't grab something big. Um, I also uh, would like to give a huge shout out to Matt Fisher um, at Luz. Um, he was giving me some advice on um, a spinning combo that I might pick up. But I actually like the um, Chinese 210 poles with the uh, lie you weighing reels so the um the 210 chinese poles with the la you weighing 4000 reels are amazing for me and i know people are probably saying i'm crazy but i uh i just love that setup um the telescopic chinese uh poles so um let me actually uh, step down here i was up on something so i can show you guys that um okuma set up but um that um black and yellow chinese pole is the one that you guys see me use most often and i just love it um next to it there is a shakespeare mantis and then next to the shakespeare mantis um there's another pole that you guys see me use a lot and it's another um chinese telescoping rod um and I never realized that the mantis um, from Shakespeare that I already have is actually a bigger um, pole, much stronger, um, bigger rail. And so actually, I think I'll start uh, taking the, uh, the Shakespeare mantis out with me more often. Um, so next to the, uh, the Chinese uh, pole. Um, that I usually take out with me besides the black and yellow Chinese pole. There is a crocodile pole. And um, I know I'm far away, so you can't really see. But the blank is translucent. So it has the white reel on it there. And the blank is actually translucent. You can actually see through it. I think that's really cool. Actually, I wish I could find um, it in a bigger um, rod size because I would get another one. And then at the very end, there's two little tiny poles. And um, I got them for like um, perch, um, you know, or bluegill, um, shellcracker, um, red ear, sunfish, things like that. But I never actually get to do that kind of fishing um, anymore. So um, I don't get to use them. And all my gear is very dusty. But hopefully we can um, change that tomorrow. So I'm back, guys, uh, for a little while. Like I said, I have um, two albums that are coming out. Um, I released three singles over the past uh, three weeks. And then I have an album coming out on Friday. And then that will be followed up by three more singles. And then a whole another album. So I've been hard at work so that I can pay for fishing gear and the rebuild of my motocross bike so I can get into motocross racing this winter. But uh, yeah, I'm heading out in the morning 
And so, um, we should have some fishing action. Talk to you guys tomorrow. So, I'm out here at the Antioch Pier. I'm probably not going to get uh, too much footage. Uh, the lighting's not correct, and um, it's very windy. But as you can see, people are catching them. I will probably get skunked, but uh, other people are bringing in the stripers. All right, everyone. So it is still extremely windy out here. And this will probably be the last clip of this fishing trip here at the Antioch Pier. It has been a horrible day. It's been awful. Uh, me and my buddy are definitely going to leave here stunk. So I'm back home after a very long day of fishing for the first time ever at the Antioch Pier. I was skunked. Um, for as long as I've been fishing there, I've never went there and not caught a fish. And uh, today I was blown out. Um, I took a buddy with me and uh, he hadn't fished since he was a child. And um, I thought he was going to absolutely hate it because we went fishing and he wasn't put onto any fish. He didn't catch a fish. But I'm happy to report that he actually asked me when we we're going fishing the next time. So that is really great. Um, the pier was packed. There was like 30 people um, on the pier, including us, and 28 of them caught fish. Just me and my boy um, did not catch anything. And uh, it was good, though, um, to get out there on the water and uh, throw a line in and get my escape from uh, the music marketing that I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of online music marketing. Um, you know, my music career is what pays the bills. Um, it pays the mortgage. It provides for my daughter um, the music is what pays for my fishing poles, my fishing trips, my tackle. Um, you know, it pays for my uh, motocross bikes and my motocross racing entry fees. So music is the full time job. And um, I'm just so grateful to be able to get out and fish and clear my mind and um, just enjoy such a wonderful sport. And today to be able to bring out someone who hasn't done um, it since they were a child and to uh, have them go out and enjoy it so much that they are asking when was the next time we could go back out is an amazing thing. But um, I must uh, get this video uploaded and get back to marketing the music. Um, so today was a nice little escape, but uh, back to business. Tight lines, everyone. Um, I hope you guys are having uh, more fishing success than myself. And I can't wait to uh, watch uh, everyone's videos. See ya.